welcome to Monday. Um, I've done some work on this car, best update you what I've been doing. Yeah, um, just rushed out here on a Saturday to do some work, so this is Sunday now, so I thought I'd actually come out and show you what I've been doing, um, so it's not going to be much of a work in progress video. But, uh, yeah, first thing we did was mask up the roof. Although I'm not quite happy with how I've masked it, so I might change it because I'm thinking the last thing I want to do is get any paint really on the nice clean roof. Um, I'm not too worried about sort of top edges, you know, it's all, you know, it's more just oh, I just don't want paint running down into the gutters. Um, so I've sort of back masked it along the gutter. But I'm thinking actually, I didn't really want to put loads of tape actually on the fresh paint just in case, you know. Um, but I think I'm going to have to now. I think what I'll do is I might take this all back off again, put a nice bit of masking tape flat on the paint on the roof, and then back mask it again. Just so uh, you know, the back masking catches most of it, but worst case, a bit of dribble goes through. Um, the masking's caught it anyway, so you, you know, you're really sure that you're not getting anything onto the main roof area. Um, the other thing you've got to be careful of, which I've done, is block up the little, um, little gutter holes. Um, if you don't do that, bosh, um, you're in trouble and. Uh, Another way of blasting spray paint into there. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's have a look at the um, seam strips. <sighs> Test fitting these. Um, I'll put some clips on to hold them in um, and a bit of brute force. I haven't actually modified this one at all, so I've just used a bit of uh, hammering. Um, I did bring back uh, one that I got off um, the race car and it matched perfectly with the, the Magnum one, so. Um, the only thing with the Magnum ones was, um, let me see if I can we've got the other one yet. When they when they fold them or whatever, they're not perfectly. I, mean, I don't actually. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're all supposed to be like that. Um, is if you can see, I'll hold it an angle to prove a point. But you know, one edge is higher than the other, so I've ground them down to actually match now, um, which helps them fit better. But yeah, this one, yeah, just a, putting the clips on, getting a big old mallet on it, force it to bend it into its shape, and then you're able to sort of tweak it again. Come over to this, this other one. Yeah, that one's not looking too bad either. So uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. Uh, looks like they're staying on there. I think once they're all in one color, matching the car, they're gonna look the nuts, and it'll be fine. So yeah, I guess that's just what they do in the factory, is just smash them with a big hammer. Uh, to be honest, I've only had five clips per one. I suspect it could do with another clip in the middle, really, to help pull some of that stuff in. So we could do a bit more tweaking. And I think the front ones are gonna be all right, so. And um, we should be there, so. Yeah, so we've got a load of masking up to do. We've still got the rear quarters to sort of finish off and sand. They're the main areas of concern that are left to do on the body. And then it's a case of masking up the rest of the car and getting it in primer, which I don't know. It's a lovely day today, but we've got a few delays. Oh, well, uh, thanks to Andy, um, he upgraded his toolbox. That means I end up upgrading mine. So there's my old one being emptied. And this new snap on one, which, okay, it's not new, but it's new to me. Um, the wheels are going to look at those wheels, chunky wheels. So it should do me a lot more drawers. And uh, yeah, so hopefully keep a few more tools off the floor. A little bit bigger in the way, but uh, we just live with that. It might end up going down the unit one day anyway. It might work out better there. But yeah, cheers for that, Andy. Um, yeah, and then we can take our old one to the tip and get rid of that. Old Halfords one's done as well, but yeah, we were used it and abused it big time. So yeah, lovely jubbly. So uh, other bit I was doing was just fishing off these uh, a panels, um, obviously we replaced the A panels. Um, so originally the, the minis were on the Mark 1s, this was what the whole side panel was one. So it wasn't even a separate A panel. So we've done our best to try and make it look like that. Um, not too bad, just got to finish off a little bit of filler just left, just on the join where we've joined the old A panel up to the old door step. Um, but that's not looking too bad either. And uh, we're nearly ready to uh, try the old clips in place um, and the seam strip on this side which again the only concern I've got 
is down here where there's three layers of panels now, which are just hopefully, uh, this will just sort itself out and expand and we'll get that going. So yeah, and a little dent that I found, well, we've already talked about that before, nearly there on that one. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. So again, we've got to just do all a load more masking up, ready for the primer. So that would be nice if I can get out of this afternoon and get this in primer. So if I can get it in primer sooner rather than later, all the better, that's what I say. Yeah, not much else to say that apart from I have been trying to clear up. Um, what I might do is run a bit of uh, thinners over these professional strips and try and clean up. They've got so much dust on them over the years and paint. Hopefully they'll clean up a bit and give me a bit more light. I fitted them when I was uh, doing the um, Red Hot originally and I'm using the Jet Black. So, But yeah, um, thanks for all the feedback as well for all the um, paint work. I'm really pleased with it for what it is um, and the conditions I'm in. Um, I really try and make a bit, see if I can do a bit better job. Um, on the uh, the top body work as well, which if I just try and do a bit of patience, um, who knows? Maybe we can. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, so I didn't actually film the progress, but I just sometimes I just don't get time. I really do. I try my best. Um, hopefully, if you're watching this, I think my total viewer count views for the whole YouTube channel just past three million. Maybe hopefully by this time you watch this. So yeah, again, thanks for everyone that's a regular watcher and thanks for everyone that just drops in for one watch and uh, yeah, so quite impressive. I didn't even think I was ever going to get 3 million views. Didn't think I'd do anything that interesting, that's for sure. So, should have started doing this years ago. Get out of um, Yeah, because you missed a load of good projects I've done over the years. So, but anyway, hopefully uh, I'll continue and uh, you see the next few projects. Um, hopefully we'll get an update at some point in the next week or so about the subframe. I was hoping again to get a bit of time this weekend, but I never get enough time as I think I'm going to. But then that's just life, isn't it? That's just life. So yeah, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. The finishing line is in sight. I've um, got my sister popping down at some point this afternoon from Yorkshire. Um, well, she didn't pop down to see me, she popped down to see her friends, but uh, she's bringing the hubs that my dad's finished from the thing and the master cylinders have all been refurbished. So uh, uh, they'll all be ready to go on as well once it's been painted next weekend, hopefully. But anyway, uh, just cooking some lamb. It's taking three hours to cook. So uh, hopefully that tastes nice as well. Who's that? Who's that? Stranger. Danger. All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Short video, but at least you've seen I have been working. I have been doing something. We're getting closer.